Hey everyone, I'm David, and today we're taking a quick look at the Hind Alto C Sweet Potato Ocarina, also known as the Transverse by Mr. Charlie Hind. And it's tuned to C with the range of B4 to F6. It's made of wood, and it weighs about 5 ounces. Here is a size comparison with the Focal Link Plastic Alto C. Top. And in front there. Can't really see. There we go. And with the standard number two pencil. As I said, these ocarinas are made out of wood, and Mr. Hine uses a wide variety of woods that you can select. Um, to have them personally customized. This particular ocarina is made from Cocobolo on the top and bottom and has a cherry and bloodwood inlay here in the center which looks absolutely beautiful. And what I love most about Charlie's ocarinas is how each one is going to be complete, completely unique because of the, um, the wood and grain that's uh, different for every ocarina. And uh, he really uh, has, does a good job accentuating those grains by doing his uh, various finishes. And um, it's no glaze as you would have with clay, so um, it's just uh, this really nice lacquer finish uh, on each ocarina. And um, when you select your wood, you have to take into consideration that the price is going to vary based on how difficult that wood is and uh, to attain and to work with. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. This is a type 1 or soft airflow ocarina, meaning that you blow very softly on the lowest part of the range and uh, keep, maintain that amount of air pressure throughout the range so that you're blowing just as soft at the very top. And um, it's probably one of the very few on the market that has um, such a soft airflow. Um, you really don't have to adjust your breath very much to get every single note in this range. And um, that might take some getting used to for beginners uh, and even some professionals who are used to type 2 or strong airflow ocarinas, but it really does have a beautiful sound and uh, keeps a really nice even timber uh, throughout the range. A side note about this ocarina, I actually used this ocarina at one of my sister's weddings and uh, it was uh, outdoors and so I was quite surprised at how loud the ocarina was able to get, even it being a type 1. And um, the sound is just beautiful, the tone is... Um, it kind of reminds me of a recorder, uh, but it still maintains that ocarina quality to its tone that I really, really like. Some of the cons that I found for this ocarina is that it only has this one sub hole, which only limits the range by uh, one pitch, which is that low A, but um, just at least having the leading tone there, unlike some of the European ocarinas, is a good thing, so um, that's okay. Um, the lowest notes are a little bit muddy. Um, I think one of the perks of having those two sub holes is that I've heard um, certain ocarina makers like to use them to balance out the tone a little bit. Um, when you go down to the lowest C and B pitches, it doesn't sound quite as clear or as resonant as uh, the middle of the range. So um, that was a little bit disappointing as well. Uh, there's no hole for the neck cord, uh, so you can't hang it or wear it around your neck. And um, it's because the, there's, the wood is such fine and high quality, you do have to take care of it very well. Um, sometimes this will mean putting some sort of a polish on it and uh, keeping it in a very dry and um, moderate temperature uh, um, area, a safe place for safekeeping. You do not want to expose it to high heat or high, uh, very cold temperatures, otherwise you might warp the wood and that would not be good. Also keep in mind that they do have a very high price tag, which has to do a lot with the quality. They are exceptional ocarinas, uh, but with having such a high price tag, it's going to limit the amount of people who are able to actually purchase them, but they're definitely worth saving up for. The things that I loved about these ocarinas is that they're highly customizable. Charlie's a great guy to work with and talk to, so you can get, call him on the phone or uh, send him an email, and uh, he's definitely willing to work with you. Uh, also, the superior craftsmanship. Um, these are, without a doubt, uh, some of the most beautiful ocarinas that I've owned and that I've ever played. and. Um, I absolutely love the look of them and the sound of them. It's just uh, extremely beautiful. The beautiful soft tone uh, that just doesn't compare with any other ocarinas as well. It's just really lush and the other thing is that I love this C-sharp uh, note which is it's a half hole on the uh, on the first pitch so instead of having to do any weird combinations with the sub hole all you have to do is lift up your finger slightly to leave off that first hole to get that C sharp which is a little bit tough on uh, other 12, 11, or 10 hole ocarinas. Now I'd like to give you guys some sound samples of the scales and some songs with reverb and without.
If you guys have any questions about this aquina or um, suggestions for future reviews, please leave a comment below. Subscribe so you know when the next review comes out. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. I'll see you guys next week.